My colleague Doug Williamson from the National Office, Assistant Director of Coaching, is going to be doing a session on small-sided games. Dougie has been with the NSCA as a full-time instructor uh, for the last year, but he's been uh, with the NSCA as an instructor for many, many years before that. Um, Doug is one of the best clinicians that you'll find anywhere, and I hope you enjoy his presentation. Doug Williamson. Thank you, Chip. I want to introduce the uh, high school girls be working with me. And I just, um, from the Scott, Scott Gallagher, St. Louis Scott Gallagher Club. It was in my head and went right out. And they're going to be working with me tonight. Uh, great group. And I'm looking forward to working with them. The, uh, it's been a pleasure for me this past year to work with TIP on a full-time basis. It's great to have a soccer mind who can produce the kind of counterattacking sessions you saw out here and to be able to uh, be around that kind of thinking. And it's great to be a part of the NSCAA National Office. The session you're about to see is not one practice session. It's five separate small-sided games that you can use for various things uh, to train your teams. So you're going to see a variety of games. We're going to move through them as quickly as we can and uh, we'll be teaching, showing you how to teach different things with each of the games. So we're going to set up the first one which I stole a few years ago from coach Tony DiCicco and it's a it's a game technically to teach passing and receiving, tactically to teach choices about bending runs, where to run and when to penetrate. So we'll get the girls going. So if I could have you here Come on out in here. Let's, um, let me have two, two yellows, the first four orange, first four blue, between the blue cones. Let me have the um, extra orange, two orange, behind the flags with some balls. Take some balls. Who are the two? Go down behind that goal. Take a couple balls with you. Good. And let me have you two behind those orange cones with some soccer balls. Okay. Here's the first game. Let me have blue come over to me. Orange stay there. Yellow kind of stay in the middle. Here's the, here's the game. We're going to attack. You must take two touches. So if I play the ball to you, one, second one to get rid of it. One, play it to me. One, two. One, two. You must take two, except on a restart. Here's how you score. You score by stopping the ball on the blue line on your second touch. So I'm playing with blue. One, two, goal. Okay, got it? All right, blue got to practice, so orange, you get the ball. Play. Goal. You stepped on it on the goal line. Hold it, stop. Blue just scored a point, and you don't get to keep it, so it's orange kick in. Restart. Here we go. Didn't know you scored, did you? And it's out. So give him a ball. It's a blue kick in from the line. Blue kick in. You have to kick it in and bring it back. Yellow or plus players. Remember, they're playing with both teams. Three touches. Stop. Orange free kick. Freeze. All right, bring it back. Bring it back over here. Step back over here. Would you pass? Tell me name again one more time. Maggie, Maggie passed the ball, and Jen. Jen. Jen, great job here. One of the things we use this for, coaches, is open field turns. So when Maggie plays the ball into Jen, play it here, we stopped it and stayed faced up. Let's, let's use your first touch, play it here, open, and play. So let's see if you can take it with the inside of your foot, open your hips up, now you're facing the way you want to play. All right, let's try that. This is practice. Okay, get your feet moving, Jen, when you receive. Good. Open. No, take it the way it's coming to your right. If you're going to take it with your right foot, I want you to open up and face the field. Get your feet moving. As Good. Great. And now you would make the pass. All right, let's play it back. Play it back to Maggie. Blue, look at me. You can go when I drop my hand. And play. Hold it. Stop. You're sliming me, man. You're sliming me. You can't go till I drop my hand. Come on back here. Give it to Maggie. That's 
uh, no. Kelly, all right, Kelly, no sliming. All right, make sure you take it, Jen, this way. Open up, ready, play. Open, good, now we're on. Two, one, one, up, oh, nope, one touch. That's a blue free kick. Right there where Mora is, right where Mora is. Blue free kick, ready, play. And let's go, Blue, give Blue the ball. They get to kick it in from the end line. Bring it in and play. Which way is Blue going? We just scored for Orange. So Blue, it's your ball again. Here we go. We're only going one way, only one way, and we play. Freeze! And stop. Okay, let's clean up the reception. Uh, tell me again. Andy. Andy's right here. Step, step right. Orange, step right here. Now, as you take that ball, let's play it over here. May no. Tell me again. Who played it in? Blue? Okay. Who played it in? Blue played it in, right? Playing with blue. Okay. As you took this touch, as you took this touch, play it here. You took it nicely across your body. Which way are you playing right now? That way. So let's, you've got nobody on you. So as this ball comes across, play it. Get your body shaped up. Take it across your body. Now you can play where you want, okay? Rather than having to play back, you can play forward, okay? So let's, let's play it in. This is practice. This is practice. Play it. No, 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 no. You've got to play it to her feet. Yeah, we've got to restart that way. So play it across. I want you to turn, face that way, and get yourself turned so you face forward and take it with your left foot. Go ahead. Take it with your left foot. Good. Game on. I lied. Play. Goal. 2 1 blue. Here we go. Play. Freeze. Morris, step back. If you would, please. Right here. Tell me again. Amy. Okay. Amy, what coaching points did we just make about your reception? Yeah, yeah. Can you take your first touch and go on your first touch? Can you keep control and go that way? Play me the ball. Blue, when I drop my hand, you can go. I want you to see if you can do that without me going through the rehearsal. Okay? Turn. Better. Play. Good. Three touches. Give it to Blue. Give it to Blue. And stop. And stop. Freeze. Freeze. Okay. Now, my first three coaching points have all been technical. They've all been about receiving. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we use the exact same game, and now my coaching points will be about where they run, where they look, do they see the openings. So as coaches, you can control what you want out of a session simply by working your coaching points. My first three points were technical. Now we'll look at the tactics of things. We'll look at the choices that they make. Free kick blue. Freeze! Stop! Pull the ball all the way back to that side. And I want to show you a very positive coaching point. We don't get this for most players. Tell me again. Meredith. Meredith did a great thing. When the ball started across the back, Meredith is tucked in here. Where did she run? And she ran... Your teammate named me. Uh, Andy. Before Andy got the ball... Come on, come with me. Show us the way you ran. She ran out here and shaped her body to the field. This is a run we don't get high school players to make enough. Wide first. They always want to run up and get tucked in behind. So this was great. And if we make this run, we usually make it late. This run was made, Meredith made this run early as the ball came across the back. So go in. Now the only thing I want you to do is tell, him to tell Andy to switch it, okay? Because she didn't know you had made that great run, all right? So, Orange, just step, take one step back. Let's let it happen. No, no, this way, this way, this way, this way. Here we go. Good. Switch it across. Tell Andy. Tell Andy. Game on. Play. Great idea. Goal. Play. Freeze! Okay. Let's
let's get let's just get the restart. Who did that go off of? Did it go off of orange? Were you playing with orange? Kick it in, blue. Let's play. Let's get it started. Patience, patience. Good. Freeze. Perfect. Perfect. Why did we score that goal? As the ball's being played through the middle, Meredith made another brilliant run. Push the ball back into the middle. Just push it into the middle and come on up here. The shape of her run, coaches, was outstanding. As she made this run, she didn't just run straight ahead. What did you do? She bent the run out here, and because she bent this run, we had great space to play it through. Well done, orange ball play. You got one more touch, Blue. Here we go. Three touches. Freeze it. Orange free kick right there. Here we go. Knock it back. Good. Play it. One, two. One, two. And freeze. Stop. Don't move. Don't move. Who played the ball to Meredith? Come on back and put where you were when you played it. Come on back over here. Um, duck. Duck. Okay. Dog is gonna. Dog is gonna make this run. Now, here's the other point. We usually don't get this many positive coaching points in a session. These girls are playing extremely well and very smart. There is intentionally no offside in this session. None. So what we're doing is we want tactically, one of the things we're looking for is to stretch the game as long as we can. So dog is, in, is tucked in here, and as the ball goes across, show us where you ran. High and central, creating a goal, creating a target that stretches the game this way. Meredith's run that we focused on stretched the game wide. Dog's run stretched the game long, exactly what we wanted, okay? Good, good job. Really smart. Okay, let me have uh, seven blue, seven orange. Okay, uh, how many blue do I have? Come on in, two blue. Go blue. Go grab a blue. Okay, uh, do we have seven orange? Andy, you can sit for just one minute. I'll use you again. Okay, and we're going to pick up, if you would help me, pick up this blue line. And let's see. Yeah, hang on. We're going to pick just, no, leave that blue one. Leave it. Pick this one up and pick this orange line up. Okay, and just move the cones back behind. Uh, do we have our goals down there? Where are my assistants? Okay. Orange, can you do me a favor? Go back and pull those goals up to the blue line. That same width, but just pull them, pull them up to the blue line. Okay. All right, blues, come on in here. I need four of you to stay out. Let me have the two fresh blues stay out on the field. And let me have... Okay, okay. I need one person between those flags. And I need one person, one blue between those flags. Okay, and I need one blue between those flags. Okay? You good? All right. Here's the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have no more than three touches each time you have the ball. So you have the ball, you have no more than three touches. You score by stringing together. We'll start by saying you, you gotta get six passes to have a goal. Once you get that, I'll raise it to seven in a row, okay? You four, go win the, uh, tell me one more time. Lindsay, go win the ball, go win the ball. You have unlimited touches for, dribble around a bit. You must play on the ground to a blue target player. 
and that would be your goal. Okay, you would score. After a goal is scored by blue, orange gets it back. Okay, boundary lines. Blue line, orange touch lines, line where the flags are. And I'll take that back. Okay, so coaches, 7v4, we can use this for all sorts of good things. My first coaching points will be technical. It'll be on the type of pass and quality of the pass. And then we'll talk about the tactics, the choices that they make. Okay, so we're going to play for three minutes. Ready? You know what? Everybody, get the, everybody got it? Game on. Play. Up, oh, nope, no goal. Blue came onto the field. You, you got to stay in the goal. Got to stay in the goal. Blue, so stay behind. Orange free kick. Play. Orange, you just got a break. Up, and out. Off the referee, so take a kick in. Go grab us a ball, please. Here we go. Give it to Orange. Give it to Orange. And play. Four. Do you know the score? Do you know how many you got? Give it to Orange. What's the score of the game? 1-1 one, one is right. Play. Freeze. All right, now this is a tactical choice, but when I saw her look short, I'm going to ask her to play a particular kind of ball. Tell me the name again. Casey. Now, Casey, you looked there. Why did we not play it there? No clue. Okay. Good answer. Let's figure out why. All right. We want to get, look at where these three blue are. This is a tactical choice. But if we didn't play it there because you weren't confident in kicking the ball, we want to get confident. We've got a blue player in there. What kind of a ball do we want to play that, in that direction? What's going to keep it away from blue? How about if we bend it? So when we bend a ball, we hit a long ball. We hit it on the outside of the ball with the inside of our laces. So when you get the ball here, to keep it away from that blue player, be careful. We want to bend it to the outside and bend it into her. Let's give that a try. You want to give that a shot? Play it to me. Okay. Take a touch out away. Get on the outside of the ball and bend it. Give it a shot. She says, sure. She says, sure. Take a touch away. Good. Now bend it over to her. Yeah, see if you get a little more on the outside of the ball. It was a little bit through the middle. Put your hips toward the goal. Play it back to me. When you strike this, strike it with your hips that way so it bends this way. Okay, play it back. Play it back to me. Okay, take a touch. I want you to bend it away from that defender. Okay, take it out. Good. Good, game on. That's a good ball. You got three touches maximum. Off blue, it's an orange kick in. What's the score of the game? Still 1-1. One, one. We didn't quite get to six, did we? Play. She got a touch while it was in. Give it a blue. Okay, was that the sixth touch? I think it was. Unlimited blue, unlimited blue. And it's out, orange kick in. I had it going out, maybe it wasn't. Orange kick in, play. Now notice coaches, I'm resisting making the tactical points. Nope, outside the goal, it was going out. Stepped on the field, orange ball, no goal. 
I'm being nice to Orange. Play. I'm resisting making tactical coaching points. And freeze. And freeze. If you're going to play that ball, we need to get it firmer because we've got the defender behind her. So instead of playing it kind of with the inside of the foot, what do we need you to play it to? Even though she's close, the temptation is to play a light ball in there. With the defender behind her, we want to ask you to play it with what surface? Watch the difference in speed. There's the inside of my foot. Play it back. Now, drive this, toe down, ankle lock, stay over the ball, and that's going to get there much quicker. She needs that to be played with pace. Okay, so give it to me, and I want you to t get that ball away from your body and play it with your laces. Blue, when I drop my hand, you can go with your laces. Much better. Game on. Good. All right, and it's out. Okay, let's bring the three blues in and put three orange in the flags. And give the ball to blue now. They're the seven. All right, now I'm going to change and make tactical coaching points, which it was real tempting to make from the beginning. Okay, now we're going to look at tactical aspects of this, how we move the ball. Rather than the how of the technique, we're looking at when and where. And off we go. Let's play. Three touch maximum. In the air, it's a blue kick in. Blue kick in. No goal. Freeze. Good. First look is going to be any time in a game like this where when we know we have more than the other team, let's play it back to her, where's your first look going to be? Maggie. Cooch. Cooch, come on back here. Where's your first look going to be? Now, see, the problem is we looked at these two as the ball came across. And you, you did a nice job of coming wide. But our first look has to be, do I have anybody long to switch it to? Okay, so as that ball comes, my vision's bad. Who's, that, who's your teammate over there? Kelly. We've got to find Kelly. You've got to get your body back, and your first look has got to be, look at where all the orange is. You've got two close, two there. When we're numbers up, we're looking to switch the ball away from pressure. Great job of Kelly of getting wide. You right-footed? Mostly. What's your dominant foot? I'll use my right. You'll use your right. And I want you to take a left. I want you to look, see that she's over there, take a quick left touch, drive it with your laces long. Your first look is long, girls, when your number's up. Okay, play it to her. Get a touch, play it long. Much better. Game on. That's what we want. Get it away from those defenders. Freeze! Stop, stop. Most high school players will not do this. They want to run to the ball and squeeze the space. Tell us why you're over here, Meredith. To stretch the field. Reward her. Knock it to her. Game on. Look long. First look is long. Freeze! All right, now we're going to coach the blue in the tactics of defending. When your number's up defending and orange wins the ball, bring it here. Okay, she wins this ball. What are we going to do? We know we have more than they do, Blue. So we want some urgency about winning it back. What do we need to make sure that we have right away? If you come in pressure or you come in pressure, do you know you have support everywhere else? Because you got seven, right? Okay. Now, if she wins this ball in here, if we get pressure, what else do we need to make sure that we have shut off, Blue? Pa not passing lanes, but get between the ball and what? How many targets can they score at? Get between her, the ball, and the goal. So somebody's got to say, I got ball. 
Do we have that goal covered? Yep. Do we have that goal covered? Not really. We'll get it covered. Step back. We'll get it covered. Do we have that goal covered? Kind of. Let's make sure we get the goals covered. We get pressure on the ball right away. Ready? Go. Get pressure on it. Get pressure on it. Good. That's it, and you force them to play away. Get a ball, play it in, Blue. Blue, do you have a goal yet? Okay, let's play. One, two, orange kick in. Pressure and goals covered. Pressure and goals covered. Good, Mora. Pressure and goals covered. Let's go. One. Freeze, stop, 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 don't look. Where's your first look, long or short? You have more than they do. Dog, right, yeah, yeah, play it here. Come on back in here. And did you have a longer pass? Come here. So as you, when you get the ball, head on a swivel. You got two longer passes and either one I like. This, look at the three orange. Where are your better choices? One, because you're facing this way, right? So let's get the longest pass we can on face. All right, when I drop my hand orange, I want you to look long. As the ball comes to you, look up. Look up, look up, look up, find somebody. That's better, game on. Play. First look is long. First look is long. Brilliant, Mara, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. First look is long. Got to look longer, Blue. Look long, look long, look long. No goal, wasn't controlled. And let's stop. Okay, so great job for the coaches. When we coach tactics, we're coaching where do they look, how do they stretch the field, how do they open things up. So I'm not – I. Early on, I coached the how of a bending ball and a long driven ball. When we switched to tactics, we then chose to go to coaching where they ran. Where do you look? When your number's up, look away. I did not coach the numbers down team. They had unlimited touch because when we're numbers down, we possess, we control, we dribble. When we're numbers up, we move it faster. So we give them three touch passing limit. Okay, good. I'm going to ask my assistants, my friends over here, to set this line and the little mini goals. Get a drink, if you would. And when you come back, I need, um, I'm going to need uh, three people and lots of soccer balls. The next one in your, uh, in your handout that you have is a training exercise I like to use for coaching the tactics of pressure, cover, and balance in defending. Uh, flags can come out, yeah. Is the mic on? There we go. Okay. Let me have um, three blue go defend the end you've been defending. Okay, let me have three orange. Let me have uh, somebody off each end with some soccer balls. Uh, let me have a blue player behind the blue over there, please. A blue player. Yep, that's good. And an orange player here with balls. And the rest of you just kind of stand right here and just kind of watch, and then we'll get you in in the next game. Let me have three blue, three orange. Three orange, come on, orange, three, three blue, three blue, three blue, three of you. Here we go. You're going to get the ball to start. Come on in here. Good. All right, here's the game. Blue, 
you get to score at those two small quick goal goals, the little uh, portable quick goal goals, okay, that's where you score. Orange, those two are yours, okay? So we're going to do that. When the ball goes out over the touch line, all the way out to touch, put it down, take a kick in. When it goes over the end line, no matter who it's off of, orange will serve to orange, blue will serve to blue. You with me? Okay. Let's play. Let's see if we've got it. Ready? Play. No offsides either. No offsides. Serve it to blue. Bring it into blue. Freeze. And let's play it back to orange. Okay. Let's play it back. All right. This is about reading the visual cues. Come on. Who made that run? Come on over here. Tell me again. Liz. All right. Liz made the run this way. Come in, come in here. This is great. Come on in, Blue. Yep. Good. Play it back over here. So, now, this ball plays across. She's making this run. How do we know that we need to go with her? How do we know that we've got to track her and go with her? It has to do with which way she was facing. Which way was she facing? This way, right? She was facing this way. Is she going to go that way? No, we got her pushed right here. Tell me again. Kelly. Kelly's pushing Maggie this way. That's how you know that you've got to keep going with her because she's not going to come back to this goal. All that, all the direction is flowing that way. She's running that way. If you don't go with her, what are the numbers going to be? Yeah, three against how many of you? Two. But if you go, make the run, play the ball, and you go with her, now do we still have 3v3? Yes. Perfect. And so now we have pressure on the ball, cover and balance. Now we step in pressure. Good. All right. And now we're balanced off. We've got both goal co two cover defenders playing here. Okay. Play it all the way back. Make your run again. Actually, let me have the ball. And I'm going to play it to you. Play me here. Okay. Good. But I want you to face that way and go that way. Make your run. Okay. Make your run. Play. Go that way. Good. Play. Game on. And play. Good job. That's better. Excellent. And play it in orange. Good, good goal. Play. Freeze. All right. One of the things we don't want to do when we know we got three blue behind the ball is let her dribble into a seam. Okay? So play back here. We want to decide, Meredith, which way to put pressure on her. Okay, where do you think we want to we want to make her predictable? You've got cover defenders on both sides. Which is the better side to push her to? We could push her to the sideline. What does that also push her close to? The goal. Does she have an easier chance of scoring there or there? Right here, close to you. So how about as the ball, play me the ball. As the ball comes in and she starts to move forward, let's get between her and the goal and gradually lower and slower, close her down, force her that way. We got cover. She's a long way from goal. Let's, make a qu let's get a little bit quicker pressure on, but stay under control. Stay under control. Okay? So as I kick the ball, I want you to close her down. Same way you bend your run on offense, I want you to bend your run in a little bit and push her that way. You with me? Play. Good. Better. I like it a lot. Well done. Good. Good goal. Serve it in, Orange. Serve it in. Players behind, if you want to fix the goal, that's lovely. Good. Good. Freeze. Stop. Stop. Back up. Go and play the ball back to her, if you would. Great job, this is something we don't, again, we don't see enough of from high school players. Ball goes this way, play it off, and 
Kelly, I have asked three times. Kelly drops. One of the things I'd like Kelly to do, though, is to make sure, because we've got two goals, that you don't get beat with a pass behind your back in here. So you dropped, and you dropped pretty much level with these three. I want you to drop just a little tiny bit deeper to make sure that if they switch it, you can get that goal covered, okay? So let's play it back. Okay, blue, drop off where you were. Drop back. And I'm going to work with the third defender here. And play. Play it over. Drop. Drop a little deeper. Not too deep. That's better. Now, freeze. And now I'm going to fix your run. Going to fix your run. Come on back here. Come on back here. Let's play the ball across. You know, come on back in the middle. Drop, come in the middle. Okay. All right. Great that, you, great that you took responsibility for the ball. By running this way, what does she still have access to? The goal. So when you make a run to put pressure on, where do you want to make that run? Show me a better way. Yeah, and you can even bend it further out because where are your two teammates now? There. you gotta, you got to push her that way, get between her and the goal, and hope that the cavalry is coming. Okay? All right, that's you got to need help. So let's make that run. Let's play the ball across. And if we get a good run, we'll play it live. And play. Play it across. Better. Better. Good. Well done, Kelly. Well done. Play on. Play on. Still on the line. Still on the line. No goal. Off the crossbar. All right, good. And hold it up just a bit. Okay. In this game, what we're coaching, pressure, cover, balance. Where do we run? Defensively, we can do a better job of bending our runs to put pressure on, take away the goal. We can, do, we can coach players in how deep they should come off, whether they should push a player into cover or push a player to the line. It's a somewhat unrealistic game because of two goals. The attackers should score sometimes, even when the defenders do everything right. But if we can catch the attackers making mistakes, we can, we can actually use our positioning and our angles of approach to shut them down. Okay? So, uh, another game that we can use, this one primarily for defending purposes. Notice I coached only the blue. When you coach tactics, it's always a good thing to see the choices that your players see. So if I wanted to coach orange, I'd go stand and see their choices from the other side. Okay, good. Let's pick up. If you can help me, we're going to use pretty much everybody again. Pick up the light, the yellow-orange line and the goals. The yellow-orange line and the goals. Good. Who are my other two? Um, I need my, one of my plus players. Who are, who, Maura, go get a yellow bib on, please, if you would. Yeah, just take those off to touch, touch line. Go into that end zone. Okay. No, Andy, actually, I want you to stay in the middle. Okay. Who was my other plus player that I said we're going to need you later? Bo yeah, oh, both of them are. Cool. Okay, good. All right, we're now headed into our fourth game. As we say back home in New England, the time's going wicked fast. All right, so let me have Mora go to that end zone. Take those two balls with you out beyond the end zone. Put them out beyond. You're, you're between the, um, yeah, pick up those two blue cones too. I don't know what they're doing there. And just get in between the red and the orange. Okay, great. Um, let me have four orange here, four blue here. Right here, good. Uh, who am I four orange? Okay, good. You. How to get, okay, good. Step over to touch line for right now, for right now, okay. And we will... I will use you, I promise. I only need four. So somebody has to take a break. Yeah. 
Okay, knock those ball. Oh, wait, where's my other yellow? Who was putting on a yellow? Kelly, go get get a yellow. I actually ne I need you. What? I left one over there. See if one of the coaches can find another yellow bib for you. Huh? All we had was two yellow. All right, put her put her in a blue. Go in the blue end zone. Somebody run an orange out to Mara. Then we'll have to do it this way. Some somebody run an orange out to Mara. Give her one of your your vests. We got to put her in orange if we're going to do this. Okay, get in the end zone if you would. Knock the balls out. All right, here's the game. Let's let's uh, push those balls out over the end lines, except the one game ball. Good, good. All right. So here's the game. Orange has the ball. Plus one. Andy, you're always on attack. Orange, you're going that way. Here's how you score. You play the ball to Mara, who must stay in the end zone. You have three touches. So do you. Three touches tops. Play it into her. And go and get it back from her. Go get it, Orange. You can play to the plus player, too. Okay, just let her have it. Now, that's a goal. That's a goal. But the only rule, the only rule now is you can't go right back to her. You always go the same way. So when you got it, you would knock it back to your team. Go ahead and knock it there. And they will knock it around. Good. And try to go to Mora again. You may move in the whole end zone. Kelly, you may move in the whole end zone. You with me? Okay. Coaches, this is primarily a tactical session on when to possess and when to penetrate. Okay, ready, and play. No limits on touches. It counts. First thing we're checking is do they understand the game? And it's clear that they do. And freeze, and freeze. Why did you come back? Why did you come back here? Andy's with you, right? Okay, had she touched the ball after it came back? Right, she passed it to you. Where's your first look? Tell me your name again. Amy. Amy. So Amy, you got the ball from Andy, right? Come in here, Andy. All right, you got it from Mora, didn't you? Yeah. So what's the, who's the only one that can't go to Mora? Uh, yeah. So when this ball came in, right? She fought to get it. Play it here. Good. Touch it. All right. Now you got it. Where's your first look? Score goal. Okay. So coaches, one of the things we're getting to do the first look on the pitch is penetrate. It's not possess. It's penetrate, and penetrate under control. So your first look, you got that. I want you to look to play it to her, okay? Touch it, game on, play. Good, first look, penetrate, penetrate. I get it back. Good, count it. I have three nothing orange. Come on, blue. That's better, good. First look, first look. What's your first look? Good. Three, two, good. Freeze, stop. Is that, is that my friend Kelly? No, who is that? That's dog, all right. Dog is over here. Now, I love the way you came back to get open. Outstanding. Who switched this ball across? Okay, play this ball across if you would. Where was your first look? Where was your first look? To Andy, right? She's, she's that dominant center midfielder personality, right? You like to play it to her because you know she's good. Where do we want it to be instead? Play me. Play me. When you look, I want your first look to be at Kelly in the end zone. See these defenders here? That's a visual cue to penetrate. We want to play her feet. They're split enough. Good that you knew that Andy was out there, but that's our first look is can we play her feet? Can we play it long and put defenders out of the game? So play it across, orange when I drop my hand. I want you to look as the ball comes to you. 
Take a look, play it across. Take a look, look forward, get a touch. Now drill it right between them. Beautiful, good, game on. You got one more touch. Good, good. Where's your first look? Where's your first look? That a girl! Well done. Good job, Andy. Nice ball control, but it's out. It's an orange ball. And hold it up. We'll show the coaches another stage. I need another orange target player and a blue defender. Go. Into the end zone. Into the end zone. Good. Now, could you put on blue? Can somebody give her a blue bib real quick? Thanks. And let me have blue, another orange target and a blue defender. Down to the end zone. Down to the end zone. Okay, now players, same game. Same game. But now you got two targets and a defender. Everybody in the end zone. Three touches. So orange, you're defending the two blue. Don't let them get the ball. Stay in the end zone. Who's my end zone player? No, no, who's my orange end zone player? Because you're defending these two in the end zone. You with me? Yeah, you can't come into the field. You, you're playing against these two, trying to help your orange team, but by being mostly a defender. Right, you give it back to orange. You got, everybody's got three touches. You guys down there got it? Okay, orange, you're both targets. And blue, you're defending. Everybody's got three touches in the end zone. Okay? Did blue have the ball, really? You really did? You really, really? Play it to me. Play it to me. You can have it back. Game on, play. Here we go. First look is where? You're with orange, Andy. And you can play back to that player. Play it in, Blue. Game on. She gets it. It's still on. Good job. Good job. And freeze. And freeze. We didn't score. But what did we like that we heard? Tell me name one more time. Lauren, what was good? Play, play it in here. What were you encouraging your teammate to do? To turn and you told her you were where? Out wide. Go a little wider where you were. Good. All right. So what we want from our players tactically is encouragement to play forward. So we want those forward players. Get your hand up, be vocal, tell us to turn. We didn't quite get it, but I like the fact that you were encouraging her to penetrate with the ball. Good choice. Play. Good. Come on. Good. Oh, zip that thing in there. Where's your first look? I love it. Fantastic. And stop. It's going to be an orange kick in. Can we come, um, Lindsay. What was Lindsay's first look, coaches? This is, even though we didn't score, she's looking to penetrate. And it's not just a kick ball hoping. She knew that Kelly had the corner if she could get it there. We didn't quite connect, but this is great stuff. This is what we want. We want her taking that aggressive forward touch that isn't just whacking it. This was a ball played with a purpose to a front runner. Good choice even though we didn't get it. Keep doing it. Great job. Play orange. Let's go. Good talk. Forward orange. You gotta look forward more. I love that idea. And it's out. It's a blue kick in. Good idea. Good idea. I want you to look look forward sooner. Freeze! Stop! Stop, 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 stop. When you see a teammate standing in that pocket, come on out here. Look at the size of this pocket. We want urgency, okay? Urgency. I like the fact that you told her to turn. Urgency. Let her know she got to do it quick because if you turn now, um, Casey, what do you got? Plenty of space and time to find one of those two defenders. When you see a teammate that's got this much time in the middle of the field, come right over here where you were. 
nice and loud, turn. And when you hear turn loud and with urgency, that means you got plenty of, if you do it quickly, you got plenty of time to turn and where's your first look? Find somebody along. When I drop my hand orange, rest of the blue, you got to tell her nice, loud, and clear. She needs, she needs help to know. Tell her. Good. Now find somebody. Freeze. Was that a good choice? Was she the one open? Let's do it again. Come on back. I like the fact that you look long. That's great. Now, if you see that orange vest sneaking over there, I want you to turn and knock it the other way. When I drop my hand orange, people in the end zone are live on my touch. Better. Come on, blue. Great stuff. Phrase, phrase, good job. Good, good, bring it back. Now this is, these are the other tactical points. Come on over here, come on, get tight on her. Dog, I gotta get it right. Come on, get tight on her, if you would. Tell me again. Martin, Martin is here. What did you tell her? Keep it coming, rather than turn, keep it coming means lateral. You shielded it, great choice. Could you look forward? No. Morn's on you really tight. Great defending. Great job. So when we can't penetrate, now we can't penetrate. All the cues, Blue, were that we couldn't penetrate. We can't go forward. We've got a defender on us tight. We've got a player with her back to the ball. Has to be somebody there and maybe even back a little bit at an angle. Telling her switch it. Possess it, change it, keep it coming, but not through, not up, not penetrate. Good call. Good call. Ready? Play. Get your back turned. Tell her. Good. Better. Now that's a great chance. Worth taking. Play it in, Orange. Play it in, Orange. Here we go. First look, Andy. First look, Andy. I love it. I love it. Good choice, Andy. I like the way you did that. Come on, Blue. Great vision. Dog, great vision. Great stuff. Way to see it. I like it a lot. Good. Mm. Worth the try, Andy. Keep your head up. It was worth the try. All right, and freeze, and freeze. Get a little drink. I'm going to talk to the coaches for just a second, and we'll come back out. We'll get everybody involved. We're going to put the goals at, at 36, if, if we can. Now, notice at the end, I let them play a bit. Some of the choices weren't what we wanted, but what we did see that was great is that when we encourage players to get their head up and look and to see the penetration, notice I said to Andy, keep your head high. She made a pass, it got cut out, it was worth trying. We're way up in the attacking end of the field, it's worth taking the risk, and we want to give our players permission to make mistakes. Sometimes they'll be harder on themselves than we will be on them. And so I want, I want that really good attacking midfielder to take that risk. Take that risk. Are we on wheels or do we need to get some help? Yeah, we wanted about um,
Here, keepers, go ahead and get your stuff on. We're up to the last exercise now. We're going to move this goal down. Girls, if you could help me, let's get all the balls at half of them at one goal, half at the other goal on the posts. We're going to put this goal right about here. Do we need some? Oh, are you going to do that end? Dave, Jeff, which end are you going to move? Are you going to move the goal up? Which end were you going to move the goal? Okay. Uh, uh, Lauren, I had it. Okay, Lauren, get jumping that goal. Who was my other goalie volunteer? Okay, yeah. <laughs> just, just go gray. Go gray. You know, put your name. Yeah, just put it with the, put it even with the uh, light orange cones. Yeah, that's good. We can even move it up a little. I think we're probably too. F if we, we'll push it up just a bit, a wee bit. Good. Last exercise, coaches. We're gonna go back to technique. We're going to coach the technique of shooting. Thanks, Dave. And let me have uh, two yellows in the middle of the field. Pick. Uh, hang on. Yep, good. We'll keep put it in the keeper's hands. Let's switch directions for a change. Let me have four orange over here to start. Good. Let me have the rest of the orange behind that goal. Four orange to start. Any extra orange behind the goal. Good. Four blue. Any extra blue behind the goal? Good. You got blue now, Lauren. Okay, here's the game. We're going to play a little handball and throw me the ball. My rules are if it hits the ground after I have it, I'm playing with blue, it becomes an orange ball. All right? Three steps, three seconds to get rid of it, and you score by volleying it yourself or by throwing it in the air for one of your teammates to volley. The yellows are plus, okay? Here's the rule. If you volley to score, right, you volley it, you must land on your shooting foot or the goal doesn't count. So as you come in here, if you get the ball and you decide to shoot, I want you to land on the foot you kick with or no goal, even if it scores, okay? I took it away from blue. Let's see if we know the game. Ready? Game on. Play. Hands. Yep. Except when you volley it. Look to shoot. Look to shoot. Great goal. Way to land the shooting foot. Play. Here we go, Orange. Put it in play. Off we go. And I got a blue ball. Play. Blue. I got it off the plus player who was playing with Orange. Great shot. Didn't land any shooting foot, though. Can't count it. Bring it back. Bring it back. Stop right here. All right? So let's talk about this. Great, great, excellent shot. One of the good things that good shooters do as they turn, they rotate their step, a nice balanced step, and a nice step, power step, and turn your hips. Everything was great. You turned your hips, ball went in. I'll give you credit for that goal because it went in and it was such a good shot if you land on your shooting foot this time. So as you come here, make yourself go through and add power. So even if she saves it, I'll give you the credit for the last goal if you land on your shooting foot now. Ready? Yes! Good! Goal! Play! Here we go. Play! Play! Quickly! Good! Way to get on your shooting foot. Play! 
Orange. Orange. Good save. Keeper's ball. Blue ball. Play. Think shot. And it's an orange ball. Play. Freeze. All right. One of the things we want you to do. You're very close to the goal. Blue coming this way. So we want to create, coaches, a mindset that we want to shoot. Worth taking the chance? Why did you not turn and shoot? I bet it's because you're right-footed. Are you right-footed? So we want to do it with your other, other right foot, the one we call left. So when that ball comes into you, I want you to turn, take a power step, rotate your hips, land on your shooting foot. Practice it first. Okay, this is practice. All right? Turn your hips, rotate, land on the shooting foot. Good. Good. All right, this one's for real, and Lauren's saying she doesn't like me now. Okay, so play it back because I'm letting you do this close. All right, this one's for real. Ready? Blue, when I drop my hand. Good. Yes. Play. Way to get on your shooting foot. And play. Up. Oh, no, no second touch. Orange ball. All right, and stop for a second. All right, now we're changing the rules. Handball, play me the ball as if I'm playing with orange. Now to shoot, I either have to serve a rolling ball for Andy to play it, okay, or I have to serve a rolling ball for myself to shoot it, okay, and you get one touch once that ball goes to the ground, and the other team's going to get it no matter what. Okay, let's switch in the resting players. Switch in for two of your teammates. So you get to try this. Now a rolling ball. Now a rolling ball. You're on, Orange. Play. Let's look to put it. See if we can get a shot. Can we get a shot? And it's Orange. Play. Perfect. Good. Play. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, quick, quick. Eh. Oh, and on your shooting foot, too. Well done. I love it. Good. And that's blue. And hold it, hold it. I forgot one rule. You can't score off a restart. Sorry, but I like the attitude. I like the attitude. Play it right here. Play it to her. No, no, no. That's my fault. I forgot to tell you the rules. I should be the one who's embarrassed. Play. <laughs> Yes, that's what we like to see. Good, good, good. Play. All right, freeze. All right. Now, a little bit of a bouncy serve, right? Okay. But still, I like the fact that you were shooting. Let's play it across. All right. Now, as you came in here, when you see a bouncing ball, think contact not power what were you thinking power right let's get it on the goal the bounce of the ball is going to provide some power so kind of lightly bounce it It was just little bouncing so as it comes across what I want you to do is extra concentration to get over the ball put it with a little more bounce than that I want you to lift your toe up good good and extra I want you to stay really focused about staying over and making contact on your laces, okay? Feet moving, good shooters always have their feet moving before they shoot, which you did. Not power, technique, okay? So let me serve the bouncing ball. This is practice, okay? Stay over, laces. Good, all right, now, turn your hips a little more and it's on frame. Was it better contact though? More? Yeah, much better contact. Okay. Everybody give her a ripple. That was good. Good stuff. Play. Let's go. Much better. Good. And good goal. Now you can only serve your teammate. Play. Play. Now only your teammate. And orange ball, orange ball. I hit the ground, didn't it? Wow. You're sliming me. You're sliming me. Play. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Now you can only serve a teammate. Yes, blue ball. 
We're trying to get tricky. I'll give it to her. And freeze. All right, bring it back. Now, let me have another ball if I could. Who served that out here? Who did? Who served it? Good. All right, now, when you get a ball rolling away from you, just give her it, give it the serve, okay? She put the ball outside, and you're going this way. It's real tough to get over the ball. So you're going you're gonna to tend to reach and to try to get your hips toward the goal. It's going to push your body like this, so the ball's going to go up. So what you have to do when you see a ball played out wide, remember how I told Meredith to bend or run? When that ball comes across, you're going to have to take a step this way outside the ball before it comes so you get your hips lined up. Okay, can you do that for me? Just try that. Take a step, bend it a little bit so that you're looking at the goal. And then concentrate on all the other things, landing on the shooting foot. But if you can't face, get your hips to the goal, you're going to lean back trying to get it on goal. So bend it just a bit. Serve her across. Bend your run a bit. Now, see how you, were, you almost overcompensated because you were so good, okay? Good. Serve it across again, a little bit faster, a little bit faster on the serve. Bend your run, get out here. All right, good. And see, we didn't quite get around, and so we leaned back. Let's try it one more time. Concentrate on landing on your shooting foot, okay? On your shooting foot. Get around it, get around it. Yeah, there we go, good, good strike. And let's play. At least we got it, we got it low, and we got it outside the post. Good try. And freeze. Put the, down, put the ball down and play real soccer. Subs in. Subs in. Quick. Last, last few minutes. Last few minutes. Subs in for somebody who hasn't been out this game. And real soccer. Play. Play. The real game now. The real game. Freeze. Stop. Mindset. Come on. Bring it back. Bring it back. Uh, more. Morin. Good. You beat her. When we're shooting at goal, you do not need to get behind her. All you have to do is get B it's beside her. Do you have her beat now? You do. You've got half a step on her. So when you get out here, I want you to take this power step, turn it toward the back post. All right, I'm going to be the defender. I want you to take that touch. Let me be the defender. Take a touch by me. Now take a step at the left post. Good. And see, if you step at the left post, it'll at least go in this way. This is not an easy shot, but it's your shooting range. Play it back. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Play it back to me. Good. All right. All you have to do is get beside a defender to shoot and then turn that balance foot to the left post. Ready? Quick. Get beside me. Good. Give her a ripple. Oh, we'll give her a ripple for that. Good try. Play. Don't be afraid to shoot. When you're that close, take it. Good. Way to turn your hips. Kick in. Kick in on the side. Whosoever it is, just kick it in. Freeze! Ah, I thought you were going to do it! Silly goose. Yeah, Mor Morris says, shoot it. Come here. Come here. Give me this. Oh, I'm a, it's the big one. I'm having a heart attack. When you get a ball, is somebody who's as good a shot as you? And you see this seam, all right, shoot it, okay? And that's all I'm going to tell you because your technique is good. This is a, folks, this is about a tactical choice, but it's about creating a mindset to shoot, okay? How did you turn that with your left or your right foot? Right? Okay. Blue, just stay still. We're going to give her a practice, okay? Ready? Turn it. Big seam. Drill it. Good. Game on. Play. Land on that shooting foot. Get a shot. Yes, Mora. Shoot the silly ball. Great one to finish on. Those of you who are left, give the girls a ripple. Come on over here. We'll salute what's left of the crowd. Come on over. Big line. Face the crowd. 
Give the girls just one more ripple, if you would. Salute the crowd. Come on, you did a great job. Okay, let me talk to the coaches for a minute. Go get a drink. Wait for me over there. I'll be right over. So you've got five games. I like to go with a shooting game. like to get play the handball so we get more shots. The two-plus players so we can always get shots even when we go to the real deal. 36 yards long. Good work for keepers. I like to train the keepers in all the other games as field players. We heard a statistic last night that keepers at the highest levels touch the ball now in games seven times more with their feet than with their hands. And that should tell us as coaches we want our keepers doing some of these games. So all, most of these games could be used for a variety of purposes, but some, some ideas for you to use in your practice when you want to have a technical practice that's lively or a tactical practice coaching certain kinds of choices. Thanks to the remnant who stayed, really appreciate it. And have a great convention.